What's going on, gamers? Tonight, we do our best to bring Monkey Dory and Tinkaton. Monkey Dory, the best design in the entire game. Tinkaton, the best Pokemon in the entire game. And we bring them to the moon. Okay, we're shooting for number one. I don't think it can mathematically happen that I get number one. I think I'd have to go for like hours and hours and hours. And we're just going to do the length of a normal stream. But we're going to try and go as far as we possibly can. Now, people who have been watching the, cha the streams recently know that I've been having some connectivity issues. I think we're going to be okay now. I think I identified what the issue was. My Switch was basically uh, uh, going back and forth between my 5G and my regular Wi-Fi. Which was, uh, it was just, it was just going back and forth, like auto switching between them, which I also think was disconnecting it in between switching back and forth. Not an issue with my Wi-Fi at all. My Switch truly just could not decide which one it wanted to auto connect to, and I couldn't figure out how to get that to stop. So, I hooked up a whole new Ethernet system, and we're now connected to the wall. So we shouldn't have any problems. However... Instead of having to, you know, put us through one more gamut of like, is the tech going to work tonight? I thought, let's just switch it up for one week as long as these ranked battles go well. And they should go well, tech-wise. Uh, we should be able to resume chat battles in the very near future. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for the excitement around the Monkey Dory Tinkaton ranked laddering stream we're about to go into here let's see who's in the chat what's up melody melody is a monkey dory fan love to see it we got jeff sale jeff or jeff sale what I, I still never got confirmation on that but glad you're here jeff we got john luke what's going on sleep para what's going on mind force of course flygon vgc hello hello we got john luke i think i already said that but hi again uh who else we got jack higgins is in here What's going on? Contestant. Uh, oh, no. Sorry. Constant. Constant. Double constant over there. Pokemon Ranger Denise. Hello. Uh, yeah. That's everybody who's chatted so far. If you're lurking. Hi. Good to see you, too. Uh, so, we got, uh, you know, I, I've done Tinkaton teams before. By the way, if you're interested in all of this stats, spreads, whatnot, all that's in the description as well as the Poke Paste. Uh, and the rental code that you can see right here. Oh, actually, I didn't put the Poke Paste in there. But uh, all the stuff is in there. So just go check that out. Actually, do you need the Poke Paste to be able to... Uh, I can drop that in there now. To use it on Showdown. I've used a bunch of different kinds of tinket, uh, of uh, Monkey Dories before, for the record. I can see Melody dropping some uh, suggestions in here. I like the Hex situation. I think I've done that with Monkey Dory before. Maybe that was with Fezzendipity. Um, but yeah, last time we tried to do this, it didn't end up going well on stream, even though the team itself, I think, was really solid. Uh, that was with a fake-out Monkey Dory team uh, with, like, a King Gambit in there. Really good combo, Monkey Dory and King Gambit. However, since discovering how good Tinkaton is in Regulation F, I thought we got to combo these two, okay? Tinkaton has become one of my favorite Pokemon in the game since I've used it just so much in Regulation F, just threw it on every single team. You all know. And uh, so we're going to be doing Sludge Wave, which I've been accused of using far too often. What if I told you I'm still not using it enough? And we got a Corviknight down there too. Not only because I'm trying to prove that Tinkaton and Corviknight can get along, but because that Pokemon sits there does not get affected by sludge waves and just racks up defense boosts while the other Pokemon is a full distraction. It's a real nice strategy. Now, I've used this team to success against people in the chat, but I did not make a video with this team yet. I'm not sure if I will manage to do that in the near future. Work is still a little bit heavy at the moment, but I definitely want to use it tonight. Um, and here is the Poke Paste for you all. Let me drop this here into the into the description. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here we go.
Um, people may also notice I have the Hall of Fame still up. Obviously, there's no queue tonight. But if anybody were to super chat tonight or gift any subs, uh, you will draw a Pokemon card for every uh, super chat or gifted sub that you gifted membership. This is YouTube. Uh, that you uh, you donate to the to the channel, and a Pokemon card will pop up. And if you land on a Hollow, which is about half the time you'll hit a Hollow, then your name will dethrone whoever is sitting in the Hall of Fame. Rob Kaufman is still sitting there from last week. Just so everybody knows, that's still on the board, even though we're not doing chat battles. Okay. I'm thinking. Let me, let me check the chat real quick. We're not in a crazy rush because we're not doing the uh, chat battles, but I do want to get started here. Name the Corviknight Wingspan. I should have. I should have. Mm -mm -mm. I am running Focus Blast, but you rarely click it. You rarely click it. It's Sludge Wave most of the time. Focus Blast is really there for like Incineroar if you absolutely need to. That is a uh, Code Red situation. Been using Monkey all day on Showdown. Love to hear it, Luke. All right. Iron Moth top eight original with Sludge Wave. I know, it was awesome. I saw that. That was so sick. I see the ape. I'm immediately interested. And see, which ape are you even talking about? We got a dual ape strat going on here. Let's do this thing. So, what you will find is that my record, pretty good. Ooh, Dana K with the five memberships. Hold on, let's address this first. My record's pretty good right now, okay? I forget exactly what my record is. We'll see it here in a second. But I was testing my internet to make sure that I wouldn't drop out of any games. There's the Nitto Queen again. I feel like Dana pulled that last week, too. Absolutely remarkable. Thank you so much, Dana. Uh, see you, Rob. Get out of here, dude. Um, so yeah, I uh, I went on to like check my uh, internet, make sure that the Ethernet situation was working and that it wasn't going to kick me off. Two hollows, Dana. And um, what ended up happening was I went on a run, and I think I I think I have two losses right now on my record. One of them was it was a disconnect before I'd figured out the Ethernet situation. Are your mons bipedal? That's a good question. Uh, all of them are, yeah. Well, Corviknight has wings. It, like only it, it's walking on the only legs it has. Are birds bipedal? All right, let's see here. I don't know why my. Uh, Computer decided to shout these alerts back at me. Okay. Uh, yes, so I'm sitting at eight and two. One of those was a legitimate loss, and one of them was a disconnect. But I went on an absolute tear. It was like I disconnected, and then I changed my internet, and then I went on like a run of like eight wins and said, I'm going to keep playing until I lose. Personally, off the stream. I did not stream this. This is nowhere on YouTube. Um, and then... I did finally lose, so we went we went eight wins straight with two on the bookends. I'm saying that because if it doesn't end up happening on stream tonight, I'll be sad, but I needed to brag about it. Birds are, in fact, considered bipedal. Well, you learn something new every day. We got Monkaton here. Let's see what we can't do about it.
All right. The first question is always, do we lead with Tinkaton and Monkey Dory, or do we lead with Tinkaton and Annihilate? Nine out of ten times, I'm doing one of those two leads. Uh, the only exceptions would be, potentially, if it's looking like it's size spam, uh, I might not lead that way. Uh, because then you might want to lead with Incin or Corviknight instead. But it's pretty much Tinkaton every time. Um... I don't hate Sludge Wave here, to be honest with you. A little scary that we may underspeed the Fluttermane. But in my experience, Fluttermanes are pretty scared of uh, Tinkaton. So let's try these two. It could work. It could work. Uh, I don't want to give Defiant boosts, but... Hmm. Being able to follow me spores feels like it could be pretty good. I feel like for that reason, I have to bring you. And now it's between Incin and Annihilate for me. I don't think I want to bring another Pokemon weak to Flutterman. I want to bring something else that I can deal with the Flutterman. If I'm scared of Monkey Dory getting Shadow Balled immediately, I can swap into Incin hard. But let's try and read what's going to happen. Let me know how the levels are for everybody too, by the way. Can you hear the switch? Can you hear the switch too much? Does bipedal mean that you have two legs or does it mean that you have two legs? Does it mean you have two legs once every two years or two legs twice a year? Okay, they love with these two. So I can just fake out the Chen Pao. It's very possible that we see a uh, like heat crash straight into Tinkaton. That would suck. But I think then I get my Sludge Wave off. Like my guess here is a Protect on the Chen Pao and a heat crash into Tinkaton. But If that happens, I get a sludge wave off into the uh, into the gouging fire, which is not a bad thing. There's the there's the protect. Yo, what's up, Maximum Crumb? What's up? We got Sam in the chat. Okay, there's the heat crash. So exactly what I thought might happen did. But we got a crit on the sludge wave. Now, unfortunately, we weren't able to pull off the uh, toxic chain. But what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to water Terra and Ivy Cudgel into this slot. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to Terra and Horn Leech into this slot and just assume that they're sashed. We're going to swap hard into Incin here. We can reset my choice specs, bring that back out later and uh, avoid sludge waving ourselves. Yeah, Sam uses the uh, the New York Licks logo for your fantasy team? Fantasy basketball, was it, Sam? Fantasy basketball, there it is, yeah. We saw a Sucker Punch try to go into that Monkey Dory slot. Here comes the Breaking Swipe. And I will recover that back. What's up, Kez? Kez chatting, reminding us, member for nine months. Thank you very much, Kez. Pull the Arcanine. Uh, geez, that Horn Leech did nothing. Dear God, right? Let's cudgel there. I think I might U-turn off of the Chen Pao slot.
Chen Pao's going to leave us. Here comes King Gambit. Okay. We might have to code red immediately, gang. I mean, I think there's a pretty good chance that my opponent uh, is rocking the uh, sucker punch here. And we don't care about the attack drops when we're critting. Mind Force, also the member for eight months. Thank you so much for being a member for eight months, Mind Force. And we got the Dark Ivysaur appeared. All right, here comes Monkey Dory. I actually have a different plan so that we don't have to. So that we don't have to get sucker punched. By either of these two Pokemon here. I'm thinking I might just Ivy Cudgel you while I merely trick the choice specs onto King Gambit, a Pokemon that does not want to use it. There's a Protect. We did not see the Sucker Punch, unfortunately, so we could just get a uh, Kowtow here or something. Something unfortunate. Enjoy those specs. I got some black glasses. But I also took a kowtow to the face. I'm, I'm disappointed that it wasn't a sucker punch. Sucker punch would have been really fun there. But uh, instead, we're going to give them the, the choice specs. They're going to get a kowtow boost. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to Ivy Cudgel here and Fake Out. Mm. I might have to Flare Blitz. I think I'll move before the King Gambit, but if they have, like, Sacred Sword on the Chen Pao, then that would suck. I'm going to roll the dice. Or are you getting ready for a trip, dude? No. Trip to the moon, perhaps. You see Ghost Terra come out. Don't worry about it. We do see the Sacred Sword, unfortunately. It's not going to drop in Sin. But uh, I will drop to my own Flare Blitz unless this does tons of damage. Okay, we get rid of the King Gambit. Unfortunately, it feels kind of like Focus Blast was actually the play. <laughs> But we stopped the King Gambit from getting off a plus one Kowtow, at least. And now we're just in a situation where I'm at, like, minus two attack, minus three attack, maybe. Flutter Mane's here. That's not great. Uh, I can Spiky Shield for one turn to maybe get some chip on the Chen Pao. They attempt the Sucker and a Moon Blast. It's going to be tough to come back from this one, gang. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. There might be a chance if I had, if I could go for like full Horn Leeches, but I'm at minus two on the Horn Leeches. I have to Ivy Cudgel if I want to uh, deal damage. And I'm just going to take too much damage here from these two moves before I can get an attack off. Okay, we're down one. We're down one. Not great. Not great, but not the end of the world. Let's see. Let's see. What could have happened differently there? I'm thinking Monkey Dory... Uh, made a bad play, unfortunately. Unfortunately for my son.
I'd love to not go to five digits, if possible. Ooh, that's a cool team. I mean, it's terrifying. So many bulky Pokemon over there, but... It's cool, it's cool. Um, like, I might need to bring Annihilate or Corviknight. Just for that Registeel. I'm thinking about how I'm going to get rid of it, and I think it needs to be one of those two. Yeah. Um, Monkey Dory could lead, though. Like, I don't hate the Monkey Dory Tinkaton lead. Um... It might be Corviknight as the better option because it, it's a steel type that can't get hit by ground moves. Um, it also will deal Rocky Helmet damage to like the Glass Drear and the Registeel. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit concerned with the uh, with the Moltres. I'm honest, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go like this. There's a definite, there's a definite uh, argument to be made for bringing Ince in here, but hey, Dave C, thank you for becoming a member there, my friend. Nice Arcanine pull. Wow, this guy's decked out. Oh my gosh, I've never seen half of those clothing items and I've I made a video showcasing every clothing item. <laughs> um, let's fake out Cresselia and go for the sludge wave. What do you say? I'd love to poison the Cresselia. That'd be great. I don't think it stops us from being able to get like poison damage, but it's also nice to poison the uh, Moltres because if they drop below half with their own poison, then they don't activate Berserk. Uh, it's also definitely a weakness policy Moltres, so I want to try and be careful about that. I have a little... Gold Trace sounds like a throat virus. That is true. There's Registeel. That thing protected. Okay. Let us just check and see. I just want to see something. How fast is Galarian Moltres? I feel like it's not actually as fast as you'd think. It's base 90. Guess how much Tinkaton is. Base 94. We can encore that sucker all day. Uh, unfortunately, Monkey Dory should just switch out. It just should. Um, and I can go right into Corv here. We might have like an iron defense off, unfortunately. Looks like a Kanto Moltres to me. They're going to Terra, but they're going to be locked here in a second. And it seems like we avoided the uh, Trick Room, at least for now. Registeel's going to Iron Defense. I might Encore that too. If Tinkaton's on the field, that thing can't deal damage. So while it's terrifying to just go Iron Defense, Iron, like just let him Iron Defense all the way up, I think it's maybe what I let them do. Or make make them do. Here comes Cress. Forced him out there. They protected on the Registeel. Hey, guess what, buddy? Hope you like protecting. I 
wish I had Taunt on Corviknight. There's just not enough uh, room in its moveset. So we can Encore there again, unless I want to predict that my opponent is not going to... is just going to switch out. I mean, I wouldn't hate that either. If I force them to switch out and they end up switching out, then they lose that plus two boost, you know? I'm just going to keep Iron Defensing. They're in a, they're in a tricky spot. Yep, they're going to swap out. There they go. Here comes Moltres again. We attempt the Encore. It does not go through. Unfortunately, we're not Prankster Encore, because if we were, then we could Encore the Cresselia into reversing the Trick Room, but now actually Tinkaton is quite slow. Don't think I want to T-Wave anything right now. So is Ogre Pond the play here? What do we think? What do we think? I could I could preserve the fake out. That feels like the right play. I don't love Ogre Pond taking damage unnecessarily, but it might be what I got to do. And do I start body pressing into two Pokemon that are, it is, it is not very effective into? Iron Defense doesn't get me anything right here, right now. I might just do that. I might just do that. I panicked a little bit there. Are we talking about what Pokemon you eat? What has, what has descended in the chat? Ooh, we're actually slower than the Moltres. Give me that flinch. Couldn't get it, unfortunately. So now we can just spiky shield, and because I'm actually slower than the Moltres, I can roost. Um, yeah, that's interesting. Uh, I can iron head to try and get the flinch, right? Oops. Iron head. Uh, and I can roost on the next turn to get some of this health back. They're just going to Lunar Blessing, get some health back, too. They go for the Nasty Plot. Not awesome. I'll admit, not awesome. Do I come for the Cresselia? Or do I double into... I think I might double in, man. I might... I might Terra Water, double in. This is feeling... This is feeling spooky, man. I don't know if I'm loving how this is shaking out. The Nasty Plot was a real nice play there. I feel like I could have uh, stalled Trick Room if I didn't see that Nasty Plot. And now I'm... Now I'm a little nervous. I was kind of expecting a not Nasty Plot because they have that Comfey at Team Preview, which means that they have another way of boosting. You know? There's a helping hand. I like that more than a, than a than a lunar blessing, I'll be honest. You see the air slash? Oh, I didn't live that. I did not live that. That's an issue. That is an issue. Going to tank it time. The special to Spadef boost did not uh, surpass the plus two in the helping hand. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So I can fake out Cresselia to... Man, this is, uh, yeah. Hmm. Let me fake out Cresselia right there. Tough spot. Tough spot. I might Iron Head to try and flinch again. It sucks. I don't want the Lunar Blessing to come out. They just go for a Helping Hand. Let's get the, uh, let's get the, uh, let's get the flinch here. Come on. Fake out doing nothing there. 
Give them the Berserk boost. They are not Citrus Berry. They are Citrus Berry, and they just have Comfey. So they're not weakness policy at all. That's devastating. Oh, but we got the flinch. Come on, baby. All right. I got a couple of options. I can Gigaton and attack the Moltres, and that gives me a better shot at killing the Moltres so we don't got to deal with this. Or I can Encore the Cresselia so they can't reset Trick Room. I'm kind of feeling like they might not reset Trick Room at all because they know that my Corviknight's slower. So let's Gigaton there. Corviknight might honestly just die here. I don't love it. We're going to try a Body Press this time too. I was looking for the flinches before, but now I'm willing to try out the uh, damage difference. Gigaton doing that much, giving another Berserk boost. I need this to miss. <laughs> Corviknight did live it, actually. That's kind of insane. And that was a crit on Tinkaton. Look at that. Look at that. That actually... They are like a very bulky uh, Moltres, is my guess. Oh, but I flinched. That sucks. Oh, that sucks. What is the flinch chance? Salty calc this. That sucked. Okay. Yeah, we might be we might be out of luck again here. Um, I can T-Wave for para flinch issues, and then I can just attempt the Iron Head for the flinch. We maybe get a para flinch going if I can pull off another flinch here. Although, the Lunar Blasting is going to make that more annoying, because they can just heal the para. So that's actually not even true. There's another Fiery Wrath. I needed, like, a double flinch there, so that I could... I needed a double flinch there so that I could uh, gigaton on the next turn or something. Of course, Fiery Wrath uh, cannot miss, so I think I'm just going to bow out of this one. And we're 0-2. This is turning out exactly like the last Monkey Dory stream where I went on a tear in the video that I recorded on the ranks ladder. And then when I tried to bring it to a stream... I just, I run out of luck. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I was operating under the assumption that they were weakness policy. Um, I don't know how much that affected the game in the end. We did just dip above five digits. Rats. I was there for that stream. Yeah, it wasn't great. All right, now we're going up against this team. This could be Water Spout is what I'm guessing. Water Spout Blastoise. It could also be Shell Smash with Psych Up on the Espeon. Uh, it could be Shell Smash and Water Spout. That's kind of actually what I'm assuming it is, to be fair. Hmm. Well, I kind of like that they have Incin, because then I can potentially uh, go Annihilate here. Annihilate might be the better play for this one, I'm thinking. I also got the Water Absorb on Ogre Pond. That feels like a really decent way to get around that, although Ogre Pond isn't awesome into Archaladon. But you are. All right, let's go Tinkaton, and we'll go with you this time. 
that there, and then what's my fourth? I haven't brought Ensign to a single game, and that feels like maybe that's my problem. Yeah, we'll bring Ensign this time. I'm a little bit nervous about, obviously, the rain mode, but... As long as Psychic Train isn't down, then Ensign's a pretty good fake-out user. And I can have, like, a dual fake-out thing happening. Um... I can also snarl a lot of these special attackers. I might regret it. Let's see. I immediately get the uh, Defiant boost, so that feels good at least. How concerned do I gotta be? About a psychic move out of the uh, Indeedee here. Like, part of me thinks we might see, like, a Dazzling Gleam, but I'm not I'm not scared of that. That'd be fine. Let's go into Incineroar here. I don't, I'm wondering if I need to burn my Terra, really, is the question. I could protect, but feels like a wasted opportunity. I might bulk up. I might get, I might get crazy here and bulk up. Is Ndidi even going to drop me with a Psychic move? If it does go for it. I'm thinking that they're Dazzling Gleam on the Ndidi and they're expanding force with the uh, Espeon. So they don't got the Psychic coverage on Ndidi. Ooh, they're actually going to skill swap me. So I just got Psychic Terrain. I mean, that's fine. They Flare Blitz into the Tinkaton. So that felt like a good move. I got a bulk up there. That feels good, too. Uh, you know? I might just delete the Ndidi. What's up, Rob? Rob, of course, the gifter of this beautiful, beautiful baby. That's a lot of damage. I like to see it. I think U-Turn will pick up the kill here. Oh, they swapped Defiant now onto the Incin, and they got one Intimidate off here, which means that I'm now at plus one. They also knocked off my leftovers. That's okay. Oh, I didn't die there, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's okay. We can easily go into Ogre Pond here. And we also took one hit there, which means that I'm starting to rack up. Um, Rage Fist damage output. Uh, let's... Uh, do I need a Terra? I don't think I need a Terra. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna bonk in DD, And we'll Drain Punch into the Incense slot now. They're going to helping hand their incense here. Stop skill swapping stuff. Again, I still think I'm at plus one. All is considered. Oh, and just not enough, of course. I'll take that health back. I'm at plus one defense no matter what. Citrus or pinch. We see a Citrus Berry. And the Parting Shot. Why would you Helping Hand a Parting Shot? That's, uh, okay. Yep, not, like, not how that works, but cool. Is Instant coming right back out? No, the Blastoise is. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think... Boy, this feels scary, but I'm thinking... How many turns of tail or Psychic Train? Two more turns of Psychic Train. 
I can Terra Water here and Horn Leech. That feels like a good mid-ground play. The Terra Water is to build a sp special defense. Uh, like, what are, the, what are the actual chances that they... Like, I gotta see an expanding force here, right? I'll protect for one turn. They're not, I don't think they're gonna, um, I don't think they're gonna water spout here because they know that I'm water absorbed for one turn. My guess is that they're gonna try and do like a shell smash and, uh, and psych up situation. But I don't want the water spout to be dealing a lot of damage on this next turn. They do go for the expanding force. We'll see how much it does to Ogre Pond. And they did go for the water spout outright. This should do very little to Ogre Pond, is my guess. Cool. Um, I now cannot Terra. Uh, I can Spiky Shield, because there's only one more turn of Psychic Terrain, right? I can't Terra into a Steel type to take the expanding force better. But I can reset my ability and go into Insin here uh, to take the Expanding Force. I guess Tinkaton would have been a pretty good player too. And with Psychic Terrain going away on this next turn, they lose double Expanding Force. Ooh, they actually just protect there. That's perfect. Uh, and I can fake out on this next turn. Cool. So we're just going to double into the Espeon now. I'm going to Ivy Cudgel. I'm going to fake out. They have protect. Now's the time. Okay. What's interesting, I'm interested to see how much Water Spout does to... Uh, Assault Vest, Instant. Oh, they actually just protect there. Cool. Um, I might swap Ogre Pond out now. We can go into Tinkaton here. Uh, and I'm just going to start Snarling. Neither of these Pokemon threatens Tinkaton with damage right now. We're going to see the Terra. They're going to go fighting, I assume, to... I don't know why they go fighting, actually. They have a Terra Blast fighting. Not expected, but also not that bad. Water Spout at that uh, range of HP still can't drop Incin. Incin's an absolute monster. I Snarl, but Blastoise avoids. That's okay. I'm going to T-Wave Espeon. I feel like that... Oh, I, uh, I can't, right? Their Magic Bounce, probably. Means I also can't Encore it. I can fake it out, though. Do that. Um... And I think I'll just U-turn off the Blastoise slot. They're just going to drop the battle. Okay, cool. They saw the writing on the wall there. I had all four Pokemon left, and I felt like I had some pretty good switches there. So I will take it. We are one and two. One and two. Not the greatest start in the world, but I'm glad we got one on the board. We're back below five digits. That's beautiful stuff. All right, a couple genies, a bridge.
All right. Um, I don't think that it's a Monkey Dory game. Uh, I can't poison two of their Pokemon, and uh, a lot of stuff's faster and has super effective options. So Monkey Dory, unfortunately, not the pick here. You root from the sidelines, bud. You ever notice how Ash always had Pikachu out of his ball but next to him? That feels illegal. But that's what we're going to do here. Um, I'm wondering what they have for Corviknight outside of an Electro Shot. Right? So, I'm kind of feeling like it could be cool to leave with you and you. Right? And then Corvin Ogre Pond. I like having two ways to deal with uh, Archaladon potentially. Either bulking up and drain punching or iron defensing. The genies of a healthy meta. There it is. All right. So, I'd love to T-Wave something here. Tornadus has been running a lot of Rocky Helmet lately in my experience, so I think we might actually be able to fake it out. I am just a little bit concerned about a Bleak Wind. I don't think it will happen turn one, though. So I might be able to fake out for one turn and go for a bulk up, right? I'm going to try it. They do detect. Fake out would have been great. or uh, uh, Yeah, fake out would have been great there, but not necessary. They do just go for the cold bleak wind. And Tinkaton's the one that avoids it. Okay, bummer, but not the end of the world. It does kind of does kind of bother me that uh, you know another Bleakwin won't do it, but I can't really protect through like a surging strikes here, so I kind of feel like I have to keep annihilate them. Um, Urshifu's asking to get thunder waved now. Um, and I think I'll also Drain Punch, maybe. Is the Tornadus going to be an annoying Pokemon for me to deal with? Offensively. Maybe. You see the Terra Water come out. That makes me feel like they're going for Annihilate, right? Like a Tailwind and a Surging Strikes. There's the TW. And here's the Surging Strikes. That will drop Annihilate, unfortunately. We got Corviknight in the back for a reason. Corviknight is in the back for a reason. So... I'm going to go Corv here. I can swap hard into Ogre Pond, and that allows me to... Uh, like, they won't want a Bleak Wind right here in front of these two Steel types, I don't think. Um, so I think that's safe to switch an Ogre Pond here, and then on the next turn, I can follow me a... Uh, I can follow me as Surging Strikes, or at least threaten that, right? I probably won't actually follow me, because at that point, I'm like, they're not going to Surging Strikes. It's such an obvious play. Here comes a Rain Dance. Yeah, that changes things a bit. Will they be able to take out Corviknight on this turn now? Ooh, not if they're full Parid, my friend.
Cool. So, I can now spiky shield because we're definitely seeing a bleak wind now. Um, do I Dragon Terra? I think I Dragon Terra Body Press. If they Surging Strikes me here, they're going to drop um, below. They're going to take a lot of Rocky Helmet recoil. I'll resist it. And then I'll hit him with the Body Press. And I think that's in range. Gosh, it's a little concerning to not have the... Yeah, you know what? I think I'm just going to body press. It's a little concerning not to have the uh, the Terra on Ogre Pond, too, though. They do just go for the Bleak Wind. Man, do I die to a Surging Strikes? <laughs> we get a speed drop on the Torn from Mirror Armor. Surging Strikes comes through. Oh. It's no question that I died to this. And they were just able to sit there and do it because they knew that I wasn't going to follow me. Unreal. Was the play there actually to follow me and just take the one Bleak Wind and then just get my HP recovery? Yes. Because now I'm in a spot where I, I just feel like I'm in an awful spot, right? All around. Not sick, not sick. One more turn of Tailwind. Let's see. I'm going to Terry, Terry, Terra Water, Ivy Cudgel into you uh, and simply fake out the Urshifu, do we think? Yeah. Let's not let them reset. The biggest issue here is that if our Chaladon's in the back, I'm just, I just have nothing to hit it. And the best thing that can possibly happen is they try to set up on me somehow with like an whatever, and then I can encore them into it with like an iron defense or something. I don't, I'm not up on what the current Archaladon set is though. That should kill unless they're sashed. They're not sashed. That was a secret sash. Okay. Great. They get Tailwind. I messed up on that. Uh, that Ogre Pond Corviknight play was totally, totally clear, and I just didn't see it. It was, you You have to just follow me, take the Bleak Wind. Um, I don't think I get one shot by the Bleak Wind there by any means. That's interesting. The T-Wave was enough to make me still outspeed Urshifu, even though they had Tailwind. Curious. All right, at least we'll bring him to two Pokemon. But it's two Pokemon under like four turns of Tailwind, so. There's a Lando. And there's an Archalada. Okay. And they did they did Terra. They did Terra. So they're not gonna see like poison Terra here. Surprise me with that. I'm not really... I guess I should be scared for Ogre Pond for the fact that they could... Um, yeah, they could just Electroshot Ogre Pond and... They only have one, more, one turn of rain left, though. I can Spiky Shield for one turn and Encore them into the Electroshot if I feel like that's a good play. That actually would allow me is if I don't die to Earth Power, which I probably just do. But if I can pull this off, they protect the Lando. Hold on. If they try to Electro Shot and I Encore them into it, then I could always just Spiky Shield on the turn that they're going to hit me with Electro. There's the Electro Shot. Please go into Ogre Pond. Okay, cool. So they are locked in. I just cold read that Electro Shot and went for Encore, not being faster. It feels crazy, but it's what just happened. 
Okay, now they have to wait two turns to Electro Shot is the thing, right? So for one turn, I get to Ivy Cudgel, and they just protect it with the Landorus, which is massive. I can Gigaton and Ivy Cudgel. They just Earth Power. This probably just drops Tinkaton. Yes, unfortunately, it does. See, I, I don't know how I deal with the uh, Archaladon, though. Like, they might be able to get... If I, especially if I don't kill Landorus here. Like, they might be able to just get through the Encore with me not being able to kill them. It's a cool play, but I don't think I actually win this game. I dropped the Lando and won. Okay. Um, all right. I might get like three hits into this Archaladon. We'll see if it's enough. And they're all, they're all going to crit too. Hold on. But they're not very effective. Cool. So uh, I'm going to Spiky Shield. Actually, what's also true is that they're never going to be able to hit me with an Electro Shot, so they might not be able to kill me in one shot. Two. Hold on. That's Ivy Cudgel. Got to Ivy Cudgel here, you know. See how much this does. I'll be critting through any stamina boosts, so that feels good, too. Mm, it's probably going to take four of them. Ended its Encore, but it's locked into this one turn. This is, like, broken. I shouldn't be asking for Encore to be even better. Like, I shouldn't ask for Encore to get buffed. But I wish it was three attacks instead of turns. <laughs> so now we're going to find out what their actual attempted move is going to be. Uh, if they have Body Press, that's the biggest issue. Drop them down into the yellow. That means they're at half. They Draco me. Oh. Yeah, because the... Uh... All the special attack boosts. <laughs> In my mind, I don't know. I, I was... Yeah. I think on autopilot, I was thinking about the Electro Shots as like, uh, like they only boost the Electro Shot, but it's actually just boosting your special attack stat. And then as long as you land a Draco, you're good to go. I would have needed two Draco misses and then I would have been potentially able to win that. But yeah, with Draco in your arsenal, which of course, yeah, Archaladon runs Draco every time. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. It was, it was potentially a cool match. But, yeah, they were at, like, plus four or whatever. So we're sitting at one and three, gang. Yep, thanks for the reminder there, Son Goku. It's not something Goku would do. But, uh, you know, go ahead, name yourself after a character, and then troll in the chat. That's fine. Ooh, we're playing somebody super low. Lower than me, anyway. Um, I definitely bring Tinkaton here, because I can do all kinds of fun stuff. I can T-Wave a Golden Go. I can fake out a Dragonite. Um... I wouldn't mind poisoning the uh, the t the Ting Lu either. That could be pretty fun, actually. Though, my heart is telling me that the play is actually to lead with Annihilate here. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, we bring Ogre Pawn for some type stuff. And I think we bring Insin too. I like being able to intimidate things. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not going to bring Monkey again. Losses make Saiyan stronger. You got this. I know what you're saying, Sarah. Archaladon is, yeah, Archaladon is such a... Archaladon's a Pokemon for me. I think I've mentioned this before. It's a Pokemon that I have never used to success, but every one of my opponents does. <laughs> like, in my mind, it's not something I go to as, like, a tool that I can use, but everybody else gets to have. All right, this is not a bad lead. I'm glad that I led with, uh, yeah, with the Pokemon I did. Let's fake out the Chen Pao, and we'll bulk up. We'll begin to bulk up. I don't think that they're able to kill me here. Although I guess maybe the sort of ruin drop could be annoying for a uh, like a ground move into Tinkaton. They're gonna bring out Golden Goat here, sure, sure. They're gonna tear a Tinglu, probably poison. Here's the fun thing: they didn't get like a. Uh, it's gonna depend on what this move is, but they did not get a Tailwind. Uh, which means that I can T-Wave that Golden Go if I don't die here. If Tingadun doesn't die here, I can T-Wave the Golden Go, and I'm absolutely going to try to. Sand Tomb is actually the play. I think I'm okay with that, because I have leftovers to combat that. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. Let's T-Wave. Um, let's protect Annihilate for a turn. Tinglu's gonna leave. Do I do I get stuck with Sand Tomb even though Tinglu leaves? How does that work? The Golden Go is Scarfed. It's the only way they could be faster than Tinkaton. This Tinkaton. So that's very interesting. Uh, we get the T-Wave there. Now, I can T-Wave you as well. Um, I don't think we saw... Did we see anything boost there from the uh, from the gouging fire? We did not, which means that I think I can outspeed it in T Wave, um, and I could st Terra Steel Rage Fist here. I think that's my play. Ooh, they're gonna swap out the Golden Go. Unfortunate. Tinglu is gonna come back out. They don't resist this anymore, at least. Grass Burma, I can remember when you only had 20 people watching your stream. Numbers going up slowly, but surely. Thank you, Anthony. It's very nice of you to say. Uh, of course, the Steel Terror does not help me type-wise defensively in this, in this situation. We see the Rocky Helmet on the Tinglu as well. They flare blitzed into my annihilate. You gotta be kidding me, dude. That's annoying. That's annoying. They just flare blitzed into my. Like I should. Man, Terra looks so dumb there now. Um. Do I T wave Ting Lu as well? 
I can swap into instant here to get the intimidate, and then as long as they don't uh, protect here, I can drain punch into this slot. I'm a little concerned about the swap into Golden Go here, but I kind of don't think they're going to do it. And maybe I get enough health back there that I can live this. As long as I don't Burning Bulwark. Okay, they did get a clear amulet there. That's pretty cool. That's why they didn't uh, activate any boosters. I think I die to... I definitely die to a Flare Blitz if they can get it off. We get the full para. Phenomenal stuff. You see the Sand Tomb. I almost wonder if they were doubling into the Annihilate slot there. I almost wonder if the Flare Blitz was going into... Like, was it going into uh, Annihilate at all? Now we fake out you, uh, and I'm going to Rage Fist into the Tinglu slot. Ugh. Do I die to Rocky Helmet Recoil here? Maybe. Maybe. But we delete the Tinglu. That feels good. And I think the sand is activating before leftovers here. So even if this doesn't kill me. We didn't die to the... No, we got the leftovers first. Is sand doing more? A little bit more than lefty? Oh, no. Sand's not around because I just killed the moose. Duh. Guys, I just killed that moose. Here comes Chen Pao. Wants to ruin everybody's fun. Um... I can U-turn off of Chen Pao and protect so that I don't get caught with, uh, with a Sucker Punch. They protect the Chen Pao there. Pretty good play. Called me out. They got full parried, though. Alright, if the Chen Pao wants me, it can have me. On this turn. I think I Drain Punch into this slot just in case. Yeah, they wanted the Sucker Punch. They got it. But they leave themselves open to a Flare Blitz here. That feels good. You see the sash. That Pokemon gets that move. Oh. Well, I hope it likes using that move because. It's about to use it again. Uh, I'd love to not get Sacred Sorted here, but we'll see. Now, nah, basically, get full health anyway, so I don't care about encoring them into Morning Sun. It stops them from being able to, to hit my Tinkaton. It makes it so that they really only have one target on the field, one threat as well. I value that more than I value. Um, You know, I should have hard switched just for the protect possibility. It's okay. It's cool. All right. We can go into Ogre Pond now that we're safe from like a Flare Blitz. Uh, and I can Gigaton into this slot. Unfortunately, I cannot um, Terra to get some special attack boost. 
which may or may not end up being important for the Golden Go matchup. But both of these Pokemon are... Hmm. Both of these Pokemon are paralyzed. They're also at full health, which isn't awesome. I'm going to Ivy Cudgel into you. Uh, and we're going to swap hard into Incin. I know that I can't get the Intimidate, but I can take a Shadow Ball slash make it rain much better. So I think I value that more. game has been back and forth. I feel like I had them there for a second and they weaseled their way out. They're going to give me... Ooh, did they just switch that with Incin? I'm locked into Fake Out. Ooh. Am I locked into Fake Out now? No, I'll be locked into whatever move I use next, right? Because I wasn't holding the Choice Scarf yet. I think that's how that interaction works. Yeah. Uh, do I lock into Flare Blitz even though they quad resist it with the Gouging Fire? They also resist Gigaton Hammer, which sucks. Um, hmm. I think so. I think I still have to lock into Flare Blitz. Oh, we get the fake out. Flare Blitz goes next, drops the Golden Go. So there's that. They basically have to Morning Sun now. They have to Morning Sun now because they'll die to recoil with Flare Blitz. So I can Gigaton. I can Flare Blitz. That's all I can do. I'm not anticipating any miracles. Maybe a full para two would win me the game. Ooh, it actually might not. There you go for the morning sun. Okay. Um, okay. Here's the thing about morning sun, though, right? Morning sun has 8 PP. I'm willing to do this if you are. And now I'm actually glad that Flare Blitz isn't dealing a ton of damage. Because I'm not taking a ton of recoil. Which means that I have two Pokemon left. And if we really want to stall out this game, maybe Incense still around. But regardless, they're going to start... Um, they're they're going to start... Uh, uh, struggling pretty soon. I think that that was their third Morning Sun total. This is my win con. I almost don't want them to full para now. There's their fourth Morning Sun. They have eight total if they used PP Max. They only have one more if they didn't. Actually, something else I can do is I can T-Wave my Incin to give myself a chance of full para so that the Incin isn't taking recoil. Yeah. That's actually optimal. Okay, that was their fifth. So they're either now going to... Struggle. 
or they have three more. Technically, they could use a PP up and have like six or seven or eight. Okay, it looks like they have. Looks like they have all eight. That's my guess. Yeah, Melody, you nailed it too. You only really think of that kind of stuff when you uh, when you have no, no other moves to click. No more Encore. Oh, can you not Encore somebody into... Wait, hold on. Oh, did, can you not Encore somebody into full death anymore you can't encore am I am I crazy or did you used to be able to do that I should have been I should have been taking longer turns then because my my play was actually then to I'm mad I didn't know how that worked I didn't know how that worked. You can't encore them if they have zero PP. I feel like that was different in the past, right? You were encored, and even if you had zero PP, then you just struggled, right? Am I crazy? Did it used to work like that? I should have. I should have been timer stalling then. Bummer. All right, what are we now? Like one in four? Jesus. It is like every time Monkey Dory gets stage fright on the streams. Even though Monkey hasn't come to a couple games now. Maybe that's my problem. Uh, let's get another game here. I will then take a quick break. Yeah, once I saw that... Uh, once I saw that the encore ended early i was like oh god that means that i can't uh, i can't encore them again all right we got a sun team and it is a particularly scary just because I have a bunch of steel types. Three fire types. Okay. No Pokemon that resist Sludge Wave, though. So I'm definitely going Tinkaton on this. Or I'm definitely going Monkey Dora on this one. Might not go Tinkaton. Might go, uh, might go Instant instead. With Ogre Pond in the back and... No, I think I'm going to lead with you and bring these two in the back. Let's see, let's see. Trying to look up this encore thing and see if uh, if I misremembered that or if that's never how it was. There were a lot of amendments to encore over the years. It looks like. Nope. In every generation, encore fails. At the last move, the target used was uh, transform, mimic, sketch, mirror move, encore itself, struggle, or a move that has no PP left. That's a shame. I just got it wrong. Uh, 
Um, okay. So, here's the question right now. Who's faster? Uh, Monkey Dory, who has 106 speed, or Ogre Pond, who has 110. Okay. There's my answer. Uh, so we fake out the Ogre Pond slot. Correct. So we didn't see a speed boost on what you call it. Oh no, Walking Wake is 109 speed. Both of them are faster than me. Uh oh. You know what? Maybe they don't go for Monkey Dory here. I'm powering them up. I played the Suicune music on the game against a Walking Wake. If I lose, that's why. Okay, that wasn't the end of the world. Let's see some poisons here. None! Well, that's a shame. Um, I can sludge wave again, or I could double switch. I think I'm going to double. I'll be sad if they end up, uh, I'll be sad if they end up, um, what you call it, uh, Hydro steaming into the Tinkaton slot. But I know they're going for a fire move into the Tinkaton slot, so. Let's see. They do Hydro Steam, but I called the slot correct. Excellent. They yawn into the instant, so instant's going to U-turn on this next move. Toxic Chain's 30%. Sludge Wave has its own uh, chance to poison, though, too. Uh, I think it is 10% chance to poison with Sludge Wave, so there's a little bit of an increased chance to get some kind of poison. I'll Cudgel into the Torkoal and U-Turn off of the Torkoal, I think. Although that opens me up to Hydro Steam into the Incense slot, which I don't want. Although they won't click it because I could follow me, right? Let's try it. Let's try to get it off. Let's try to be cheeky. Oh, they clicked it. Wild. That's okay. That's okay. We lived it. We lived it. Their life orb. That's good damage. We'll get a little bit of chip here with the U-turn, too. Let's go into Tinkaton now. Leaving Torkoal in there is bold. I thought so too. I thought there was a chance they'd switch out, to be honest. Or protect. I don't know what the Torkoal was trying to do there. Uh, we can Horn Leech into this slot while I fake out the... On. I might fire Terra Tinkaton in this game, to be honest. If I'm able to get rid of Walking Wake here. Fire Terra on Pond could be cool. Though I do struggle to see exactly how I deal with... Well, what I would do is... What I would do is I would... T-Wave the Ogre Pond. Ooh, I don't mind getting damage off on you. Speed was heightened. Okay, so that thing won't be dropping bombs on me, at least. That's a two-hit KO, man. I'll tell you what. Alright, so... 
I now simply horn leech you while I terra fire and T wave you. I'm a little concerned about being weak to Hydro Steam, which I know is still in the back, but as long as Ogre Pond's still alive. I think I'm in an okay spot. Grim hasn't activated Toxic Chain once. To be fair, I've only used Sludge Wave like two times, I think, so far in the stream. My special attack drops. Oh, no. Horn Leech. Thank you. Are they going to Ivy Cudgel my Ogre Pond instead? That'd be a pretty good move. Oh, just a Horn Leech. Well, that's fine. And that's important because now I know that I outspeed their Ogre Palm, which means that I can get Horn Leech off into their Walking Wake before they'll be able to... Yes, I think speed their speed's heightened as well. Okay. I think I have to. Mm, I think I have to horn leech here, and I think I'm gonna try and T wave. Uh, I'm gonna T wave into the slot in case they go for a Draco and hit it and kill my Ogre Pond. Because in that position, then. Oh, that wasn't over. That wasn't over. I'm happy, but that wasn't over. Monkey Dory in the back, still very volatile. I feel like I uh, was still slower than the Walking Wake, so what they could have done there is like Draco Meteored or something to get rid of my Ogre Pond. Um, they quad resist Gigaton, so I don't even know that I kill with Gigaton at that range, even though they're in the red. Maybe I do. Maybe I do eventually or whatever. I don't know. That was a weird one. Not sure why they dropped. Not sure why they dropped. Let's uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's do another one. I said I was going to take a break, but uh, we got 108 people watching right now. We'll give them one more. One more for the people. And then I do just need to go to the bathroom. Just arrived. Not sure I have enough drip to be here. All types are allowed. Even if you don't got a monkey dory and a baby Bjorn. Okay. We see the Arch Aladon again. Not sick. Definitely. Whenever I see Ferrigraph, dude, Tingaton is the best Pokemon. Whenever I see Ferrigraph, I'm like, I'm bringing Tingaton. Every time. Actually. Yeah, for sure. Annihilate's a little scary if they lead with... Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go Monkey Dory. If they lead with, like, Archaladon and Pelipper, then I don't want to have Annihilate there. Because Hurricane's scary at that point. I can't really do a ton on the first turn. How do we feel like it does late game, though? Feels like Ogre Pond has to come, and I probably don't need to dedicate my Terra to it. Ooh, Rob Coffin with the gifted membership is trying to come for Dana's spot. I don't hate Corviknight either. I don't. Let's rock Corv on this one. Let's rock Corv on this one. We'll bring two Steel types. I can Sludge Wave. I have multiple options. We get the Pidgeot pull. Look at that. We get the mysterious fossil. Thanks for the gifted sub memberships there, Rob. Uh, everybody who just got a membership from Rob, make sure you drop your TY emote into chat to thank the guy. Cool. So they led with these two. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that. Because what I can now do is I can fake out you. 
I can Sludge Wave. If they protect with the Ursaluna, I can Encore them into Protect. Um, but regardless, I'm going to get the Fake Out. I'm going to Outspeed. We're going to get a Sludge Wave off into both of these Pokemon and maybe Poison them, and that's not a bad scenario. Actually, Spec Sludge Wave might be enough to two-shot the Ferrigarath depending on how it's trained. They did not protect the Ursaluna. That is scary. But we get the Toxic Chain on the Farigaraph. That'll guarantee the two-hit KO. Assuming Monkey Dory is still around. It will still be around. Cool. Okay. Now I can go into Corviknight. I'm a little concerned that Corviknight's physical defense might not be enough to just cold body press to kill this guy. I am a little concerned about that. But I do think this is what I have to do. They bring out for Rigorath. Something else is going to get hit by a Sludge Wave here, unless it's the Archaladon. Nope. I'll hit you with a Sludge Wave. Oh, here comes the Archaladon, right? Gotta be. Gotta be. Yep. This feels like two different teams. It feels like there's a Trick Room team and there's a Rain team. Body press not doing a lot. Not doing nearly as much as you'd want. That's for sure. All right. So. I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I can tear a dragon to take the, uh, to take the, what you call it. But that only helps me for one turn. Now I can Sludge Wave, but then I'm locked into Sludge Wave and I can't hit the Archala. I'll, I'll kill the Pelipper. That's it. Oh gosh, I messed that up so bad. I ran out of time. I realize if I'm if I'm Terra Dragoning, I can't Sludge Wave next to Corviknight. I gotta switch out. And uh, that's not what I did. Yeah, I'm in a little bit of a corner there. We'll see how much I get. We see the Helping Hand. I'm going to hit my own Pokemon. So the Sludge Wave was selected. I will hit my own Corviknight with this. I'm going to poison my own Corviknight with this. Okay. Glad the second poison that I got was on my own Pokemon. Good. On a misclick. Or on a, on a non-click, really. Uh, yeah, this, I mean, that was a really bad, uh, bad turn. Body press doing really very little now. <laughs> bad turn, bad turn. Basically, I wasted my terror on a Pokemon that's sitting duck. All it, all it really can say is that's beneficial here from that. Is I live for one turn so I can reset my Monkey Dory now. And I got rid of the Pelipper. That's not awesome either. Um, I body press you now. Basically, my only way of killing the Archaladon is to land a Focus Blast, which does seem like it's the thing to, to, to lock into after this. So Monkey Dory is going to have to hit some Focus Blasts. Now, one Fairy Terra absolutely ruins my day with that, but... 
They're still electroshotting. I would have assumed they'd switch it up there, unless they went into Ogre Pond with that. Corbinet gets a body press off. That's not bad. I'm not mad about that, to be honest, and I resist that. Okay, okay, you know what? I'm actually glad that I'm dying here. It's a good thing I poisoned myself. And actually, it was on purpose. I foresaw this. I want the free switch now. We gotta hit some focus blasts here, gang. Here it goes. Focus Blast. Ivy Cudgel. It's gotta work. It's gotta work. 70% chance to hit. Seems pretty good to me. They didn't Terra. I thought maybe they'd Terra the Ursaluna there. Say you're sorry. Say you're sorry to him. Apologize. You did not have faith. I had faith. Ooh. Dude's absolutely cooking. Look at him. Money in the bank. And that's why you pack Focus Blast, baby. <laughs> wow. Wow. My faith is documented. That's true, John Luke. That's true. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Okay, I think we're now like three and four or something. Not incredibly embarrassing, at least. Um, I am going to take a quick break so that I can use the restroom. I'll be right back. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And uh, don't go anywhere. We're going to try and go for, uh, yeah, for another, for, for maybe maybe until like 9.30. We'll see. Okay? But I'll, I'll get back here soon. Monkey Dory.
So Monkey Dory is a little different now. She's going to start freaking out. This is why I'm too busy to record. This thing right here. I'll be right back. Where were we? All right, I believe we're sitting at uh, three and four. Not awesome. I'd love to peak above 500. It's always my goal. Maybe we get 10 games. Let's see, let's see. Doggy Dory. Okie doggy. Ooh, an executor team. Wolfie just used executor. Is this that team? Or something? I'll tell you what I don't see. Anything that is immune to poison. So that's happening. Get one of those. Um, I'll tell you, I'm a bit concerned about the Raging Bolt, because if I can't deal damage to it with Monkey Dory, then I'm nervous about bringing Ensign, and it feels like Ensign has to come no matter what. Maybe not Ogre Pond, though. Maybe Annihilate. Because Bleak Wind is less accurate. Intimidate is a factor here. I think maybe I'm going to bring Annihilate in the back. This feels like a little, a little scary, a little, a little abnormal, but let's see. It's what, I'm, it's what I'm feeling. We haven't played against too many standard teams, to be honest. There's been a couple of them, but... May try to attend a regional next time this in San Antonio. You absolutely should. If there's, a, if there's a regional in your town, definitely, definitely go to it. I understand anybody who doesn't travel to the regionals, that feels like it's definitely more difficult. Even going to Hartford for me last year was like more annoying and hard to do on public transit than, than I would have liked. Expensive too. But... Uh, they're a lot of fun, and you should go, especially if you love Pokemon and you haven't been to one before. Instant Torkoal, here we go. I Sludge Wave and I fake out the Instant. Do I feel like Terraing Fire is worth it? Maybe, honestly, maybe here. Um, yeah, you know what? I am gonna Terra Fire as I just fake out you. For sure. No! I'm gonna get hit by my own sludge wave again. I just did this back to back. Dear God. I needed to be a. F well, you know what? Whatever, dude. This feels like a wasted. Feels so wasted. I completely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This was bad. This was bad. So much damage to the Torkoal. Poison the Incineroar. Lots of good returns. And we got the Toxic Chain on the Torkoal, too. Wow, great Sludge Wave round. They just go for Body Press in the tank a ton. I didn't need to Terra at all. My lord. Okay. Insane goes in there. Um, there's a good chance that the Insane switches out, I feel like. If any of them are going to switch out, it's going to be the Insane here. So I think I might just Gigaton into this slot. There's not a ton Tinkaton's going to do for the rest of this game. I completely blew that. 
Monkey Door is coming through with the with that really good sludge wave turn, but I needed my my steel type. And uh, I feel like I wasted it a bit. Are they ejected back? Oh my god. That's pretty funny. So, not switching out of the incense slot, but they did switch out of the Torkoal slot. That did relatively little. And the U-turn goes off of that. Okay. So I was right. They were going to cycle out the Incin. They just didn't hard switch. Here comes... Exeggutor. Uh, I can fake out the Exeggutor and T-Wave it. Feels like a pretty good play. Can't get, uh... Can't get Thunderclapped for that either. Magnet, Terra Electric, Raging Bolt. Good to know. We're going to see a Terra here. Into Poison. That's not that bad. Is it Covert Cloak, Eggy? There's the Thunderclap. Attempted, but not succeeded. That felt like a really important T-Wave there. All right. Now we just sit here and snarl with Incin for sure. I'm going to cycle out Tankaton, refresh, fake out. I think Monkey Dory can come in here. Um, yeah. I might be able to Psychic the, uh, the Executor. And this avoids another Thunderclap. Now on the next turn, Thunderclap is going to hit. But it'll be snarled once, so maybe. No, they Draco. Okay. Yeah, well, they're going to be minus three special attack here in a second, so. All right. Annihilate comes out now. I'm going to Flare Blitz into the Exeggutor, I think. Like, a Snarl would be nice, but now they're in a situation where if they were to come in with Incin, they're going to boost Annihilate, you know? So, I think I Flare Blitz. I think I bulk up. I'm scared of the Raging Bolt. Raging Bolt at minus three is going to try and hit Incineroar for an amount of damage. It's not going to matter. We get the bulk up there. The Raging Bolt went first there. That's interesting. Executor's trying to trick room right now. Is he? Harvest, sure. Oh, it's Harvest, not Chlorophyll. Okay. So it's just trying to Psychic. There it is. Yeah, that hurts. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. No more sun, though. Okay. I'm going to Snarl, and I'm going to now Drain Punch into this slot. Get a little HP back. Drop their special attack. They still have a chance at getting full parried. Eggy's going to leave us. Give me the incense. Torkoal comes out to set the sun. That does make total sense. It's going to reboost the special attack. They're still sitting at minus... Two or three, right? I think it's fast. All right. Well, I don't have um, I don't have psychic breathing down my neck anymore, so that feels good. I guess it could come right back out here. Little lefties too. I feel confident that the Raging Bolt, as long as it's sitting there, cannot deal with my uh, Annihilate. 
And a Flare Blitz in the Sun should kill the Executor now, right? Yeah, I think I just Drain Punch again, this time into Raging Bolt. If they give me the uh, Incin, then I'll get uh, health back, a good amount of health back there, too. Oh, they tried to protect there? What do we think that was? They also missed their Draco. I got news for you. I don't think that that was uh, killing me anyway. I think they were trying to protect to try and get the Harvest activated. But thank you for the sun. Flare Blitz popping off now. And now I get... Uh, I get an, a plus one boost from this Intimidate incoming. Raging Bolt stuck at all the special attack drops it has. Swap hard into Tinkaton here. Um, I can protect for one turn. Let's see if the poison gets going. Uh, I guess the fake out wasn't really an issue, but I can reset my own fake out. And this way, Annihilate stays safe so I can get a free hit in this next turn. They go for the fake out into Tinkaton. Cool, cool, cool. They need to crit a Draco, basically. Instant has a really sad fate happening now, because I'm just going to Encore that guy. Battle canceled. Four and four. I have these sunglasses on, so I can't even tell that the uh, my, my lamp is running out of battery. All right, we broke even. That feels good. Four. Jeez, that's really bright now. Holy cow. I'm wearing sunglasses and that's bright. Let's try and get two more battles, I think. Uh, maybe more. Maybe maybe three. Okay. Another game where nothing... Uh, oh, no, they can... They can be not poisoned. I can like T-Wave and Encore the, uh, the, the Garganackle though too. Garganackle, man, you don't see that thing ever anymore, do you? I didn't hate the Annihilate in the back there, I'll be honest with you, and I can see me doing it again here. Yeah, I kind of like it in fact. Let's go with you and you. Annihilate in the back. Corvinite's really good into... Uh... Hmm. Do I bring all four of them? Feels like instance mandatory here. Maybe not, though. Honestly, maybe not. I might bring all four of them. I'm 4-4. Four four. It's not like I'm like 8-0, no, right? I'm going to bring them all. I'm going to bring them all. I'm going to bring all the weirdos. Not that Annihilate's that weird, but you don't see it as much. 
anymore these days. Man, who thought they were going to get Primeape in Evolution? Primeape? You sure? They did bring the Amungas. But I can hit that thing really hard. With Sludge Wave, I can also hit it really hard with Psychic right now. In front of my face. Could do it if I wanted. I'm not going to. I'm gonna I'm gonna chicken out. But I could hit it with Psychic really hard. I could also trick it. Oh, maybe I should have put choice specs on that thing. That actually would have been a really good play. I should have done that. I should have faked it out and choice specced it. Sludge Wave is going to do a lot here, though. Sludge Wave is going to do a lot here. Yeah, that's some good damage. They're going to Swords Dance, but I'm faster and they can't Rage Powder. That's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. Okay, yeah. I mean, they're not going to tear it into anything that's going to resist it. Maybe they tear it into poison, actually. So let's Gigaton it and let's Sludge Wave it again. I doubt they burn their Terra on Amoongus. We do see a Terra here. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? What you got? What you got? It is. Is it going to be Poison Terra? Nailed it. So how this might work out is that uh, oh, the Ice Shard goes first. Well, that's okay. They got a lot of damage off, which good for them for, for pulling that out there. But really glad I went for the Gigaton because that basically means that they terrored to get one Ice Shard off and it didn't even drop Monkey. All right, cool, cool. Red like a book. Problem is, it was read much easier than a book for me, because I can't read that good. Not a great reader. What do I need to T-Wave more, do we think? I think I need to T-Wave the... Uh... I think I need to T-Wave the Fluttermane. Do I attack with Monkey Dory? Or do I try and save the guy? I don't really love the idea of anybody else in the back taking a shadow ball or anything, so I might I might say last stand monkey dory, good for you, pal. And we should live a surging strikes here, thanks to my berry. Ooh, we actually moved before the Urshifu. That's massive news. Massive news. I can T wave the Urshifu next turn if I feel like it. Dog's going nuts in the other room. She has not been a fan of bedtime lately. We go Corv. I could just Gigaton the uh, Flutter Man, and there's nothing they can do about it besides protect. So I think I just do that. I'll go for an Iron Defense. Ooh, the Aqua Jet's pretty massive. Actually, didn't remember that. And the Fluttermane outspeeds Corviknight here, too. Hmm. Suddenly, I'm a little worried about Annihilate's ability to outspeed Fluttermane. OK. 
Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. Terra Steel feels like the play. I may just double into the Urshifu here. I think that's actually the better play, right? Defensive Terra to live the Flutter Man. Maybe catch an attack, which could be good for boosting Rage Fist. But I think I got to get rid of the Urshifu now. The nice thing about going up against Urshifu is you never have to worry about getting crit. You're going to get crit, so you just calc crit to begin with. That's true. Honestly, that is like a nice thing about it. And honestly, the Rocky Helmet damage that's happening right now is maybe even more than Body Press would have done if I'd lived this. Here's a big piece of information. Do we outspeed the Flutter Man? We do, but we don't kill the Urshifu. Full para on the Flutter Man, though. Okay. Well. I feel like I blew this. I feel like there was a definite play out of this that was, like, guaranteed, and now I'm really fighting for my life. Yeah, I feel like I got I got a little <laughs> and that's so annoying because I had such a great turn one and two. Um and and I and I T waved the Flutterman. I feel like the play was uh, uh yeah, I didn't respect the Aqua Jet for sure. I feel like maybe the better play was just to go into Annihilate instead of Corviknight and Iron Defense on that turn. Why did I feel like I needed to do that? Uh getting like two drain punches off would have been so much more valuable into the Urshifu or just a rage fist straight into the Flutterman. Uh, I'm uh, frustrated with my play there, I'll be honest. Okay, this is a pretty standard team. This one's a pretty standard team. Nothing that, uh, that uh, doesn't get sludge waved, though, so that feels like a good... A good way to start it. It's so funny. I see all these Fluttermans and nobody has led Fluttermane against me. Think about it. I'm not a person. Insin feels great here and probably just Ogre Pond 2. Or Corviknight. I gotta be concerned with how I'm gonna deal with the Raging Bolt. Scorpionite can deal with it, but only if it Terra's on the right turn, maybe. Um. Yeah, I'm going to bring Korv. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to bring him. Flutter's a piece of paper. If it isn't Wrecking House on turn one, it has to switch out. I guess maybe that's why people are bringing it in the back more. Because they want, they want that one hit to value and you have less information on turn one. I am not mad about getting a Sludge Wave off, uh, getting damage off into that Raging Bolt immediately. Uh, we're definitely just going to Sludge Wave, and we're definitely just going to fake out the Urshifu. No questions asked there. Hey, by the way, no issues whatsoever with connection. So I feel like that's definitely been fixed, and we should definitely be able to chat battle next week. 
Whatever they switch into is also not going to love a Sludge Wave to the face. They just go for the Intimidate. They protect on the Raging Bolt. I'm going to definitely Encore that. Now, they could fake me out, but I'm guessing because they see this Sludge Wave, they're going to fake out the Monkey Dory slot. And that's not bad either, because then I can Encore the fake out on their side too. Okay, we're doing this again. This time we Encore the Protect. They Thunderclap, I'll be sad. It kind of feels like... Um, like, we didn't see a booster energy, right? So it kind of feels like maybe it's a little bit more of a setup. Maybe there's a Calm Mind thing happening here. They do fake out the Monkey Dory, like I said. They are Encored into Protect. Let's see if they get the double. It's not going to matter, because Sludge Wave is faked out. Okay. Now we Sludge Wave again, and we Encore the Fake Out. What caused the issue? Glad to see the connection is better. So what it was, was that my switch, unbeknownst to me, was wavering back and forth between my 5G and my regular Wi-Fi. Nothing wrong with my router, nothing wrong with my internet. My switch just couldn't settle. Something about the, the Wi-Fi situation on my switch couldn't settle on uh, one or the other. And so obviously the weaker Wi-Fi is going to have a harder time connecting, but I think the issue was actually that it was technically breaking internet while switching between the two. And that's obviously a problem, right? Um, but I just, you know, I said, I, I tried to figure it out for a little bit and tried to settle on making the Wi-Fi work, but then I was like, you know what, let's just do an internet situation. So I ran a cord through my freaking wall. And here we are, Ethernet. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, we are murking this guy right now. He's got nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. I think I'm gonna swap hard into Corviknight here as I T-wave the Urshifu. If they don't die to... Um, Rocky Helmet damage. I think they're going to try and take out Monkey Dory. Is the thing. There goes Ensign. I cannot T-Wave the Raging Bolt. But it looks like we are going to get the kill with the Rocky Helmet. It's cool that Corviknight's out here too now, because now they got to be careful about if they go back into Urshifu, or sorry, Insin, because uh, then they're just going to intimidate themselves. So did I disconnect one of them? Uh, no, my partner does not play VGC. No, no, no. Watches the tournaments with me, though, and asks questions. But not not anything past that. Hoping it's kind of doing nothing here. I think I just go right into instant. While I T-wave the Fluttermane. Or I could just Gigaton Hammer it. I think I T-wave it because I have the Monkey Dory still in the back. So I have an option there. And they can't set up with Raging Bolt, or they risk getting Encored again. They just attempt the Thunderclap. Another reason why T-Wave is pretty nice there. Oh, the Shadow Ball. Absolutely beautiful switch in. Not mad at that at all. Couldn't be less mad at that, in fact. So, now we can fake out you, or I could just start snarling, to be honest. I don't hate that. Um, I may snarl and swap hard into Corviknight. Reset my fake out.
I just feel like they're going to switch out their uh, Flutter main, so now I can get the uh, mirror armor back into their... <laughs> into their Incineroar's face. Not bad. They should choose to Dragon Pult Incin there. Dragon Pult. Dragon Pulse. Snarl goes out, and what avoids? Oh, the Raging Bolt avoids. Annoying. Not the end of the world. Um, I'm going to Snarl again. Uh, and I'm going to Body Press into the Incin. Thunderclap might finish off Corviknight, but I think I'd be okay with that, because I think Sludge Wave might win me this game now. Thanks for the question, Guts. It's a certified Hood Classic question right there. Didn't know Berm could read Japanese. Maybe that's my problem. I'm not I'm reading the wrong language. That's why I can't read. They do flare blitz into Corviknight, which, hey, power to you. Corviknight deals more damage taking flare blitz than it takes. There's a Snarl. That thing's locked into the field right now, too, so that feels great. And now with Tinkaton in the back, and, like, I'm in such a good spot. Um, I'm going to Roost now, too, in case they think they can Thunderclap me to kill me. This person is just falling into every pink trap and switch. It's a, it's a dangerous Pokemon. Dangerous Pokemon. By the way, I think I got, I think I got one more battle in me after this. Which would be nice, because it feels like I'm going to win this one, and then I can break even by winning that last one, too. Just a Dragon Pulse into Insim. We should take that fine. Full para on the Flutter main. Surely not what my opponent wanted. Uh, Snarl, we roost again. On the Dragon Pulse, Ensign eats that too. Shadow Ball into the Corviknight now. Corviknight takes that super well. I think I just let Incin die. I could do a thing where I switch out Incin to take the Dragon Pulse with Tinkaton, but I don't think I even risk it. Maybe just keep doing this. Iron Defense with Corviknight. Battle was canceled. I figured that was probably going to happen before we actually saw the end game there. I would have loved to get a... Oh, that's a great trainer card. I don't even know where that's from. I love that trainer card. Um, okay. Uh, uh, uh. I would have loved to see Monkey Dory, my boy. Get a couple more kills there. Nothing's going to be as hyped tonight as that uh, that Focus Blast to to win the game against a set up our Chalodon. Last one, gang. Last one. Let's do it. Sign this from the oh the Deli Bird Presents store, of course.
Okay, we're playing somebody much ranked, ranked lower, higher number. Spooky team, though. We got another Archaladon. Of course, of course, of course. Man, this team looks like it has a little bit of everything. <laughs> a little bit of all the stuff I don't like to see, to be honest. Um, I'd, honestly, I'd say I shouldn't bring Tinkaton to this game if Tinkaton wasn't absolutely running my team every game. I'm going to bring him to the last one. I am. I'm going to bring both of them to the last one. It's the last game. Even if it means I lose out on 500. Um, Ogrepan's so important. And... I think I'm going to go Annihilate in the back, too. I really liked having Annihilate in the back. It feels silly, but they have so many flying types, but... I don't know. I just feel like I need a, a Pokemon that has more reliable damage output than Corviknight because with like a hyper hyper weather team, like what I'm kind of sussing out is what my opponent's doing here. Um, I don't want to bring Corviknight because I don't think I'll be able to set up in front of the Electro Shot or set up in front of the Zapdos. But this is a nice lead. Like I don't, I don't mind this at all. Because uh, I can just fake out and sludge wave here. And so it is what I'll do. And so it is what I'll do. Damage. Give me some poisons. Come on. Might be the last sludge wave of the night. What do we got? We got in Zapdos. That's what I wanted. That's what we wanted. A Volt Switch off of Monkey Dory? Fine. Monkey Dory can take a... Uh, Monkey Dory can't take a lot. Can take one Volt Switch. Basket Legion emerges. I'd probably just get Wave Crashed into Oblivion with either Pokemon here, but... I want to T-Wave the Basket Legion. don't think it's worth it to try and be sneaky and go into Ogre Pond and take a Hurricane by accident. Because I could see them trying to finish off Monkey Dory with a Hurricane. Yeah, I'm just going to Sludge Wave again. They actually go for Last Respects there. Maybe they saw my Ogre Pond at Team Preview and they're like, this will kill, but also will deal damage to the Ogre Pond. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good mid-ground play. Glad I got the T-Wave off, though. Tailwind and a T-Wave. You know what? It probably evens out. Okay. Do I think I can drop the Pelipper at that range with a Gigaton Hammer? That's what I'd like to try to do. But I think I have to tear up water right here and Horn Leech into the Basket Legion slot. What's up, JT? Welcome to the chat. This is the last battle, unfortunately, but I'm glad you made it for something. Tailwind T Wave Swiss from this Basket Legion has Whiplash. Yeah, this Basket Legion is just. A last respects into Tinkaton there, not, not a big deal. Hurricane into Ogre Pond. I don't get uh, confused, which was the biggest issue, biggest concern. Let's see if Gigaton Hammer is able to pull it out. Last respects with only one Pokemon gone is a, a sus play, unless they're locked in. Maybe they're Bandit or something.
I'm gonna T-wave the Pelipper. <laughs> and uh, we will finish off the Basket Legion with, I'm gonna go for Cudgel on this one because if they swap out to reset what I believe is now a Choice Band, I can hit something hard in the rain with uh, Cudgel. Actually, the Pelipper living there was kind of clutch because Last Respects uh, would have done more damage on this turn if I had dropped the Pelipper there. It's just so funny that I can't uh, I can't Gigaton Hammer twice in a row, and that's my only attacking move. They do get the confusion on Tinkaton there, which is a bit annoying. Oh yeah, Zapdos just Volt switched out. Good call, Mind Force. They don't have a single Pokemon gone. We get the T-Wave off into the 1 HP Pelipper. I don't hate it. Okay. Uh, they have one more turn of Tailwind, but I think that means I just protect, and I can swap into Annihilate hard here. I don't think they go for a flying move into Tinkaton here. If anything, they go for a Thunderbolt, and I think Annihilate can take one. So we're just spiky now. And thank god it's a Pelipper and not a Tornadus, or else I would have to kill the, tor the Pelipper on this turn for fear that they would set up Tailwind again, but I know I can drop that thing on this next turn no matter what. They go for a Thunder, in fact. Ooh, Annihilate doesn't love that. And I get paralyzed. I deserve that. I deserve that. And they go for a flying move into that slot. Wow. Wow. Okay. No more Tailwind. We still got Rain, though, which I love. Because I'm going to Ivy Cudgel into that Zapdos now. Man, that took me for that's that took me for a spin. No more tailwind, we like that. What kind of Zapdos are you? I'll outspeak you guys all the time, right? Yeah. Are you static, I assume? Do I risk Oh no! Ivy Cudgel isn't a uh, contact move, which feels insane. Can't can't activate static there. And there's the Arch Aladon, you son of a gun! How dare you come out here now? I'm gonna T wave you. Um, rain for two more turns. Ice Spiky Shield for one turn. The Encore is going to work this time. They're Terra Fairy. Why would you do that now? You're the right type already. You resist Ivy Cudgel and you're not weak to Gigaton Hammer. And so you choose? What were you scared of there? You literally only helped me there. I'm so confused. Huh? They do go for the Electro Shot. Tell me they don't read the Spiky there. Excellent. Encore, baby. And this time it'll work because Tinkathun's not going to die. Uh, is this correct? Yes. Yes. I'll deal a lot of damage with this right here first. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Now they'll be locked in, and this is the last turn of rain for sure. So now, since it's Tinkaton who's out on the field, I can just continually encore them, unlike the last time that this was our matchup. And man, I ran into so many Archaladons tonight with my Sludge Wave team. Um, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. 
Archaladon is out there a lot, and I run Sludge Wave a lot, so. Um, but yeah, the last time that I did this, I didn't have Tinkerton anymore, so my Ogre Pound was just a sitting duck for the plus four or whatever thing. Now they have to go for it again, and they, it'll take them two turns. Bop. We did it. Breaking 500, always my goal. Can't say I'm mad about that. And uh, thank you everybody who uh, joined in tonight. Let's uh, let's get one final count for where we got to here on the ladder. I got a lot of people watching. It's great. It's great to see. I love it. Bop bye bye, but Tinkaton flavored. Yeah. Am I gonna am I gonna get a copyright claim from Poke Sports for saying Bop? Okay. Let's get one last count. Where do we end up? That's way lower than I started, right? Maybe it's about where I started. I can't remember. GG's, everybody. Thank you so much for, for joining. Thank you for watching. It was a lot of fun to sort of take uh, a little bit of a break from the chat battles for me. I mean, you know, it's uh, obviously I love interacting with people and I love seeing what people are cooking and having that sort of interactive element, but... Something like this in a stream like this, I'm just able to like keep rolling the battles. Look how many battles we got in tonight. I think we got like, how many did we end up doing? Like 14, 15 battles? It was a lot. It was a lot of battles. So, uh, you know, the expediency and not having to sit around and try and figure out, not having a troll in the chat who like tries to jump in on every battle and steal people's codes and stuff. Like that's all great. And that's all because we switched up what we were doing. So. Maybe I'll do that a little bit more often. Next week, we will be back with chat battles. I'm really glad that the internet seems to have uh, been fixed. My internet situation, rather. And uh, yeah, have a great night, everybody. This was a lot of fun. I really also want to quickly thank... Oh, I want to thank Dana K for the five gifted memberships. I want to thank Kez for being a member for nine months total. We got mine for us with the eight-month total membership. Uh, we've got Dave C who became a Burmite this evening. That's awesome. And we got Rob Kaufman ending the stream once again with the five gifted memberships. Let's also not forget that this very monkey Dory sitting here in my baby Bjorn, which is actually just a fanny pack turned backwards, was also gifted by the Rob Kaufman. So lots to be thankful for. I'm not sure if Rob's still, oh, Rob is still out there. Everybody, everybody, we have so much to thank Rob for. Hope you're doing well, Rob. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, it was a good night for our boys, even though we, we started out pretty bad. I feel like in the first five games, I was one in four, right? And here I ended up breaking 500. Crazy. All right, everybody. Have great, safe, wonderful evenings. I will see you soon. Again, not sure when rank battles will will return or sorry uh like rental code videos will return that kind of ranked battles but uh we'll see i feel like we're work is i see i see the light at the end of the tunnel maybe maybe it can happen soon but i'll see you back here next week at 7 p.m eastern standard time bye everybody